Hey there, my name's Al. Today I will be sculpting in Blender my interpretation of Venom. So before we get there, if you love all things 3D, be sure to subscribe. So right away, I am going to use a large brush size and the snake hook brush. And I'm just going to push and pull and stretch. And honestly, I did not have a sculpt in mind when I started this process. But as I was pulling and stretching the sphere, it started to look like a mouth. So using clay strips, I went in and went back and forth. Also with a pinch brush, I decided to pinch the corners of the mouth. But clay strips, I can build up these lips. And right away, I knew that I wanted to have this obnoxiously large just bottom lip kind of just hanging down. Kind of obscenely. So uh, that's kind of the direction I was going to go. Holding down control, I can carve into my mesh with clay strips. So instead of pulling out, it's doing the opposite and carving in. And that's what I'm doing here in the back of the mouth. That is not a dingleberry. That's called a uvula. Oh, so it's a girl house. Name that movie. I'll tell you at the end. Uh, sorry for the squirrel. Anyways, clay strips on the top of the mouth. Primarily, I will be using clay strips, snake hook, move elastic every now and then, and then the draw sharp. Other than that, that's probably it. So I go to object mode and I add a sphere. And still at this point, I'm not sculpting Venom. When I'm pulling and stretching, if I press control R, that will remesh. When things start to get really blocky and looks like jaggy, low poly stuff, you press control R and that will remesh and it gives me better topology for sculpting. Now when I press Shift R, I'm able to kind of visualize what's gonna happen. So that's that white grid you keep seeing popping up. That'll visualize the voxel size. And using Snake Hook and the Move Elastic, I am just really moving this tongue around. So you saw that I already broke symmetry. I typically work in symmetry, but at this like, nah, let's just run with it. So I turned off symmetry, really wanted to get that tongue in there. And at this point, after I'm masking, you can see I'm fumbling around with masking. I'm not super familiar with Blender. At this point, I was like, okay, I want to make Venom. Uh, initially, it was just gonna be like a blob character. Just imagine Silly Putty sitting on a table with a weird mouth. And then it just kind of evolved. Now, because of that, since I didn't have a plan at the beginning, which is fine, this was just for fun anyways, my anatomy, is terrible throughout this whole sculpt most of the anatomy is terrible primarily because i didn't have a plan uh, when i started this i did not plan on making a bust but it turned into that and honestly i was too lazy to just restart and i just ran with it so pulling that mouth down that lip it really didn't leave room for the clavicle or the pecs or the shoulders just know this is terrible anatomy i know but it was still fun and i think you can learn something from it so using clay strips across the chest, I get the idea that there's muscles forming there. Same thing on the shoulders. I use the draw sharp to separate the pecs from the shoulders a little bit. And with the grab brush or the move elastic, I'm just kind of shaping, pushing and pulling those lips. It looks very rigid right now, so I really need to round this out every once in a while using the inflate brush. So going back and forth across the lips, it already starts to bring in the the idea of those creases on the lips. For the bottom jaw, I dropped in another sphere. In object mode, I went to add, add the sphere. Then I can use my remesh with snake hook and just move this around. And this is really just gums that I'm going to sculpt. Uh, that way I have something to stick the teeth in. Don't forget, holding down shift, I can smooth. If things are way too blocky, I can press that shift R, lower my voxel size and then do some smoothing if I need to. So I will use clay strips and then build up some of these chunks uh, where the gums are. So I can also hold down control and carve in where that socket would be, like where a tooth would sit. I'm inflating and using clay strips around the mesh, around where that tooth would sit to give the idea that the tooth is actually like pushing out the gums a little bit. Uh, I'm fumbling around with how to like isolate objects, but I'm learning a lot inside of Blender. So linked above will be a video on how I optimized Blender sculpting for my low-end uh, Mac. So it's been really rough until I found this tip. So follow that if you would like to optimize it, give you a little bit better performance. 
All right, so that remesh function is per, I guess in ZBrush it's called subtools, per tools, per object. So I can remesh the body separately from the tongue. They're all separate currently. All right, and more work on the tongue. So using draw sharp, I start at the base of the tongue and work my way slowly around to do the crease. I have no idea what the crease on the tongue is called, but I think it's just a crease. Then I can use clay buildup on each side of the crease, build up some of the form. I typically do that anytime I do wrinkles or anything like this. Instead of just creasing, right, using that draw sharp, I can uh, just build up the form on each side using the grab brush, push, pull, move elastic brush, which is called elastic deform and blender till I get something that I really like. Anytime things get stretched, pressing shift R once again to remesh. Like I said, really bad anatomy, but that's okay. I'm still learning as we all should be. All together, the sculpting process on this uh, in part one and part two took me about 90 minutes. So this is about the halfway point when I finished this section. All right, so I have broken symmetry and I'm just playing with some of these lips. So maybe the lip is sagging in some parts like a snarl. And then I go in and I wanted to show you a different approach for gums. Instead of adding a brand new shape, this time I'm going to use clay strips. And instead of adding a new shape using clay strips, I can just build up this form where the gums would be. We have many approaches to this. Obviously this will be attached to my body. So anytime I remesh, this will also happen to the gums now. Working on the uvula and that movie that I referenced earlier when I said, oh, it's a girl house, All right? That was Monster House, fantastic animation. Came out some years ago. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Thank you for sticking around for this video. If you found it interesting or loved what you saw, please subscribe and I will catch you next time.